Murphy has died. Media and paparazzi surrounded the home that she shared with her husband, Simon Monjack. Simon took her away. He made sure no one could get to her. Hi, my name is Brittany Murphy, and I go to Herbert Hoover Middle School. <laughs> Brittany was so wonderful. There was nobody else like her. There was kind of a sweet, childish, lost quality that she had that just breaks your heart. She was successful immediately. You cannot be a teen girl and not love Britney in 8 Mile. Clueless. These are movies that will stand the test of time. Britney Murphy was super cute, but in Hollywood, you have to be Gwyneth Paltrow. She was not a typical pretty girl. And so many young women in Hollywood are pressured enormously. She had lost an inordinate amount of weight, and she was dressing totally differently. She said, that's what I've been told, if I wanted to be considered as a leading lady. During a little dip she was having, he came along. And I think that's where her judgment was muddled, and she became prey. Simon said that he was the largest collector of Vermeer, dated Elle McPherson and Madonna. He said that he had been dying from terminal brain cancer and that he had bought an experimental treatment derived from the fins of sharks. Every single word out of his mouth was a lie. We all were scared and freaked out. Like, who was this guy? Once they got married, they were holed up in that house 24-7. Nobody got close to her. Last one, guys. You start to think, well, OK, who gained from her dying? There were more unanswered questions after the autopsy came out than there were answered questions. People start thinking, there's more behind this. There's something else. Simon had all these secrets. He actually said people in the government were watching them. Brittany's dad was sure someone had done it. You visibly see mold. Is the house hers? Something made her sick. A healthy 32-year-old doesn't just die. 